See how I encourage my fourth grader to work independently using a workbox system. Hi, I'm Leslie, an engineer turned homeschool mom to three little boys ages 9, 7, and 4 years old. And today I'll share with you how I use a workbox system with my fourth grader. If you've seen my previous workbox videos for my first grader and also my preschooler, you'll know that for them, I use a separate drawer system for them for, uh, to organize their work and to let them know uh, what needs to be done each day. For my fourth grader, I do something a little bit different. Instead of using a separate drawer unit, I use the drawer unit that's part of his desk. He has an IKEA desk setup. I put two subjects in each drawer. I purchase some Avery sticker paper, uh, project sticker paper, printing them on there and uh, I cut them up and just put them on the drawers. They're repositionable, so uh, it makes it easier to move around. We'll see. A key aspect of my fourth grader's workbox system is his list of work. My first grader and my preschooler have indicators on each of their drawers, uh, letting them know which drawer has work for them to do. I didn't want to do that with my uh, fourth grader. What I do for him is I print out from Homeschool Planet, which I use for lesson planning, I print out uh, the week's work. So each evening, uh, I take a look at what work he has to do and I highlight what he can do by himself the next day. I look to see if I need to change anything or mark anything up and, um, and fill his drawers and then I'm done. So for example, tomorrow he can do his morning work, his Bible, uh, a vocabulary word uh, definition, some writing and reading, history reading um, by himself as well as working on a Minecraft build for one of his history uh, assignments. He'll need to wait for me uh, to do his math because tomorrow he's starting a new lesson. Um, the, he's doing the first lesson for lesson nine and I'll need to spend some teaching time with him, but tomorrow um, I'll be highlight highlighting that for him to do on his own. He'll need to wait for me for spelling uh, because we're starting a new step, a new lesson tomorrow, and um, he'll need me to teach him that as well as doing the sentence dictation. I, I need to do that with him each time it comes up. But tomorrow I'll highlight the spelling review worksheet. He can do that by himself um, and uh, the day after that, he can do Spelling City by himself, so I'll highlight those. For grammar, since this is uh, the first day one uh, of a lesson, I'll need to spend some teaching time with him, and so he'll wait for me for that. But tomorrow and the rest of the week, I'll highlight those for him to do on his own. For Mondays, usually, uh, since we're starting new lessons, like for math and, and spelling and sometimes for writing, and also grammar, uh, I end up having to do a lot of teaching time with him, just a few minutes each really, it's not that bad. Uh, but for the rest of the week, a lot of this stuff he can do on his own. So this has been really key for me in, in um, streamlining, streamlining our week and also in getting my son uh, to take some ownership of his work. Now let's take a closer look in each of his drawers. My fourth grader's first drawer holds uh, his Bible and handwriting work. So as you can see, we have here a tray organizer. Um, I got this idea from Erica at Confessions of a Homeschooler. She, her YouTube channel and blog helped me out so much uh, as the entire time I've been homeschooling uh, her organization tips and uh, product ideas. So uh, this was definitely one of those tips from her. Each of my boys has one of these in their drawers. I color code my kids so uh, all of their pencils have their color washi tape with their color wrapped around it. And this is so I know who left what out. Um, trying to get them to clean up after themselves is kind of a struggle for us. And um, if I ask who left this out, you know, it's nobody, nobody left it out. So now I always know who left their pencils out. I'm hoping that this accountability would help them to clean up after themselves. So you see in here uh, Michael's Bible uh, devotional. He's using the Word of Life uh, Bible devotional and then also this New Adventures Bible, Adventure Bible, which he really likes. 
his glasses are in here. He uses them for reading. He may not really need them for much longer, so, but they're in there to remind him just in case. And then this little doohickey slides, if the glasses aren't in here, this will slide. So uh, his handwriting is in here. It's, you can see here, the handwriting without tears, cursive success book. Um, when he's done with this book, I'm not purchasing the next level because he'll be done with it mid-year. And um, I'm just gonna have him continue doing some other cursive exercises. This next drawer contains morning work and history. I'll do a separate video explaining our morning work, what we do for morning work, but um, what you just need to know for now is I have his morning work binder in here, as well as his copy workbook that's part of his morning work. And um, so I put those in there. I also put a link below showing you where I got these uh, um, binder covers from. They're super cute, I love them so much. I have them for both my older two kids on, on their binders. And I think they just add a lot of fun to their, to their work. For history tomorrow, he's got some reading to do. So we're doing American early American history. So he'll be reading this book by uh, Clyde Robert Beulah. I love Clyde Robert Beulah. I try to get as much of his stuff uh, for my boys to read as I can. And then I have a just a little file folder in here for a history. I plan out lesson plan history just like a couple of weeks at a time. And I don't have work ahead of time necessarily for them to do. Um, I, I don't have the year's work planned out necessarily. So I just look uh, a couple weeks ahead and print out what I need. And then I'll just put those in there. And then when he's uh, going to do something from the folder, the evening before, I'll put it on top of the folder just so he knows that that's work for that day. My fourth grader's next drawer has math and science in it. He has another binder in here. Um, I took apart the Math UC binder or the Math UC workbook because I changed the order that they do their work in there. And I just put, I just changed the order of all the sheets and worksheets and put them in here so that they're easy to get to. Um, and then also I have in here his multiplication dot to dot workbook. He's almost done with this. Um, he learned multiplication last year and he's in, is learning division this year, but he's still working on getting um, speed with his multiplication table. So this is just one way to do that. And I also have in here um, uh, this graph paper uh, notebook for him to do his, his multiplication in just to keep the numbers steady. And then there's also in here a worksheet from, from um, last week, which I need to uh, put away for him. And uh, he, I felt he needed more practice with long multiplication and so I printed out some worksheets from the Math UC website for him to do last week and then this week we're going back to our regular work. Behind that is where we keep our science stuff. Science is one of those things if you've seen my curriculum video for this year we're unschooling science this year. I'm using a subscription box and resources from Teachers Pay Teachers and other things to do science this year. So again, that's one of those things that I don't have uh, planned out for the year like I do a lot of his other work. And so what I have in here right now is his lab notebook from Little Passport Science Expedition, Science Expeditions. We've been using that subscri subscription box for science. I also have in here a three-prong folder to put any printouts in, any worksheets that I give him or um, anything that on paper that we can put in there is kind of our notebooking solution. This next drawer contains spelling and grammar. For spelling, we're using all about spelling, um, but what I have in here is uh, his spelling practice binder. I have a video uh, on my channel about sharing with you how we use all about spelling. I talk more about this in there. And then this is his boogie board that we use for word practice and also sentence dictation. Behind that is his grammar. 
we're using Fix It Grammar this year from IW. I love it. So the student book is in here along with his notebook. Um, and then I have this little Polly Pocket, which contains the um, little index cards that Fix It Grammar provides showing parts of speech and and uh, he gets a new one every week or so. So we keep those in there. The next drawer contains writing and reading. For writing, we're using the IW Student Writing Intensive. So uh, you get this binder and it's got sources in there and they tell you how to set it all up. So all that's in there. I put this on top because I felt that he needed some special practice in uh, what he's been, uh, the skill that he's working on in writing. So this is from the articles and stories for units one and two. Uh, this is, these are extra source materials uh, for extra practice. So um, I went ahead and printed a few of these out and I have this on top so that's why it's not part of the binder already because it's ex extra practice. Behind that is his Kindle. So I have reading in this drawer as well, and this is reading that is separate from um, his history reading. Most of his reading this year will be uh, from books dealing with the era of history that we're studying, uh, but sometimes we have uh, portions of time where he doesn't have one of those books to read, so uh, whatever other book I put, I'll get for him. Um, to read during that time will be in this drawer. I have the Kindle in here because sometimes I'll purchase a book, an ebook, or download one, check one out from the library using Overdrive, and this, and so he reads them on here. You know, since he's older now and not reading as many books with pictures, this uh, this is a good solution for that. This isn't good for graphic novels or anything like that, but um, it's it's good just for text. This is the first Kindle I got. I love it. I love my Kindle and uh, love having one, love using it. So this is nice because he can take this outside and read it. Sometimes we read outside so he can comfortably read outside with us instead of um, having to read on, on an iPad or something like that. And also it's just the book. There's not other distractions that a tablet might provide. So I got a new Kindle, uh, one of the newer versions, so I pass this on to him to use for now. So there you have it. That's my workbox system for my fourth grader. I hope that you found this helpful. Please like and subscribe if you did. Also leave comments down below sharing any questions that you have and also let us know uh, what do you do to organize your upper elementary students work. I would love to hear from you. Until then, bye-bye.